cool. It's definitely counterfeit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three or Still four cool. different people told me that. Because they like, said you uh, can tell by the inside. Because like the yeah. stitch is not all even and stuff. Oh, well, yeah, and it's it's coming line. off. Yeah. It's frayed. Also, the serial numbers and stuff you can look up, but. Yeah. Doll, you never show me nothing but kindness She would say, I know how sad you get And some days I still get that way But it gets better, it gets better, it gets better So my mom, while we were in Pennsylvania, got a dog from the shelter Rescued, rescued her, an older dog, so this is our first time meeting her Is Gabby in here? Just in Summer's Point. I think she likes women more. She's like it. Like how'd she you feels safer. How'd you acquire this dog? Oh, girl. Okay, I'll so. tell you how. Her breast terrible. Mimi came over with this paper and told me that I need to adopt this dog named Connor. Okay? So, Dad looked at the paper, Sasquatch, and he said, if you're going to adopt a dog on this paper, it needs to be this old girl, Gabby. So for a couple days I didn't do anything, I thought about it, and then I went to uh, the animal shelter, Atlanta County, County Animal Shelter with Mimi on Monday. And I had inquired before I went there. It smells good. And uh, they said, well, she'll have to meet my dog, meet my family members, blah, blah, blah. But I thought, well, I'll just go check her out. So I go there and Mimi's gone to the lady. We want to see Connor. She has to get Connor. And the lady turns around and says, if you get Connor, he will eat your chihuahua. You have a chihuahua at home, you can't get Connor. <laughs> so Mimi insisted she see Connor. Well, he's a big dog, real muscular, has a little bit of pit bull on him, but he's really cute. I... So the whole thing is lined with like cages, cement, giant dogs barking. They get Gabby out, take us outside. The lady goes, all right, I'll be back. Just leaves me out there with Gabby. And uh, she comes back and then I go, okay, well, I'll bring back my... Um, Chihuahua, Junebug, tomorrow to meet Gabby. And she goes, why are you going to do that? I said, because you guys told me I had to do that. She goes, you don't have to do that. I said, yeah, but you want to meet my husband at least, right? And she goes, I, I don't want to insult you or anything, but I don't care about your husband. She said, if you want this dog, you can take her home today. And I'm like, aren't you going to check my references? And she goes, I can tell you're good <laughs> by the way you talk to the dog. <laughs> so she checked to make sure that I owned a home and that I was, I guess, not on the wanted list. I'm not sure what she checked. And Gabby came home. Mimi and I put her in the car. I said to Mimi, what do you think, Mimi? Should I bring her home? Mimi goes, I'm afraid she won't last another night in this place. It's brutal here. So we put her in the car and took her. And then she's good. She loves her mama. I actually was trying to let her sleep with me last night because Ben was here with June and she was like off the bed a million times so i just put her in the crate and she slept fine she slept in the crate the last four nights totally fine so hasn't had any problems with june bug at all you think she's a blessing don't you think <laughs> she's a blessing and she went to the vet yesterday for her free visit what's the rundown and what we got going on here today all right i'm trying to figure out how to maneuver in this cool ass bomber jacket but um so we're gonna go to the Salvation Army and Goodwill sorry we can do this we're gonna go to Goodwill and the Salvation Army and whatever other thrift stores that are close by to us and we're going to specifically look for um oh my gosh. just pause it Hello? You good?
So, and we're going to specifically look for name brands such as Gucci, MCM, which is like the German version of Louis Vuitton um, over there. Louis Vuitton. And I don't know, any other name brands if they actually have them there. Also, we're going to look for those brands but bootleg because even if they're bootleg they're still worth money because if they're in bad condition bootleg or real or fake completely fake um we can make stuff out of those materials so something new we're gonna try out uh kind of got inspired by this guy called Slobby Robbie because uh, we were watching his show on Netflix and he does similar stuff to us just on a higher level and with more money so and people with more money so I'm just feeling excited about this because the stuff that he has he has a store and it's really really cool um, and it just reminds me of the stuff that we do so gonna give it a go uh, and it's gonna be fun so come along with us and see what we can all find Ew. it's hard double doubling down on a hat we're good though right all right so what is up everybody um, Sammy J here is that what you want me to say yeah. <laughs> Um, we're here at Goodwill in Atlantic City um, and we are looking for designer brands like the ones are you gonna put this just start over yeah what is up everybody um, we are here at the Goodwill store in Atlantic City and we are here to find designer brands are you, you good wanna, you want to roll in there Mm -hmm. I gotta take this off. Is this though. a good will? You can keep rolling. Or is it a Salvation Army? Oh, fuck, guys. This is a Salvation Army. Don't want to it. See, this is why I don't like opening for a video. Because, like, <laughs> I don't even so know where the hell we're at right this now. This is such good I, footage, though. Dude, I said <laughs> Cause, like, good Because, it shows how start. awkward it is to be on film. <laughs> it's not, like, awkward. Like, I'm so used to having a camera around, but, like, I am an awkward person Stage, sometimes. So, like, staged. Uh, scripted, scripted intro. I'm not good at scripts, but like when I'm just <laughs> natural in the film, not as awkward, I swear, guys. But we are here looking for designer brands such as Gucci, real, fake, bootleg, it doesn't matter. We've never done this before. Specifically, yes, for this kind of thing. So we're going for it. Uh, we're actually looking for fake stuff for cheap so we can take the material off and put it on something else and make our own kind of like trunk out of all the designer logos so that's the plan we'll see what we can find pretty fire how would you know what they were like i don't know what they are but they're cool dude harley davidson's boots though why do these have to be so big though? Like these are so cute. These are Harley boots. These are nice. Really nice. What are those? Charlotte Russe, of course. I'm attracted to the cheaper brands in life. Found this nice area made in the USA. Sweater. Not sure about it though. Not really sure of the brand of anything on here, but this is a sick coat. Probably mainly for Sammy, but Cedarwood State. So I found this Dan Marino Miami Dolphins medalist saying that medium uh, jersey for four bucks. I think I'm getting this one. So this and the LA jacket so far, not bad. The purse section. 
I think they put the good ones behind there, though, dude. This is like a fakest of fake purse. Coach, would coach even make something like this? Yeah. Like that like, weird cheetah print. Coach isn't really like... the first thrift store. I didn't show you guys this yet, but it's a slide holder. It was three bucks. I think I'm gonna ask 10 for it, which is not a huge profit, but if someone still has their slides or still wants to keep them in order and labeled, that's a great box. Dan Marino jersey for four bucks. I think at the very least we could ask 20 for it. So. It's a $16 profit. And then this piece, the Venice jacket that's actually exactly the same as the one I'm wearing, pretty much. I don't even know what these are considered, but. Windbreaker, it was $9 and I'm gonna ask 20, unless we keep it. So we are at the second thrift store out of three that we're going to today. And we, I wouldn't say that we found any designer we didn't find anything at the first store that we were actually looking for, but that doesn't mean that we didn't turn a profit. And I think we will walk away with close to $50 just from that. And so we're here at the next thrift store, which is actually more hand-picked goods. So I think we will actually walk away with something that we came for, hopefully. So here we go, let's do this. What are the chances you're gonna find something gold in here? Um, the chance of me finding something golden here is actually pretty good. Pretty good, cause like look at this. Stuff in here. This is fire. Like no donations. Dude. Twenty-five. It's a little Dude, not real, but this one's cool. Dude, these are serious. Larry Levine's nice though. This one's only twenty. <laughs> Oh, shit, I just dropped this off here. Can you put it on here for me, please? It's already coming off, I think. Like Made in Macaulay. Legal jeans. That's a nice jacket. Look at this little dreamer. Right. That's cool. Yeah, you know, I, I come across fake pocketbooks, but. How much is that one? 20. 20. That's cool. It's definitely counterfeit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three Still or four cool. different people told me that. It, we're they like, said you uh, can tell by the inside. Because, like, the yeah. stitch is not all even and stuff. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's, it's coming line. off. Yeah. It's frayed. Also, the serial numbers and stuff you can look up, but. Yeah. Honestly, had, we want to take. I had a um, coach one that I was able to look up the number yeah. and that was real. It was real, mm -hmm. yeah. We want to take like, this isn't even the right fabric anyway, but even the fake leather, we want to like take some off and put it on like a little trunk. So if it's fake, it wouldn't matter. But Oh, I see. There's like pleather material oh. and this is like not the same, but this is still cool though, who cares? Yeah. Is that the only one you have here? I have a real Michael Kors bag. Oh, uh, it's real though. It's probably yeah. expensive, right? 75. Do you want to see it or no? Do it today. The two shirts. How's that lady? Okay, so shot down again. We did find on the hunt one fake Louis Vuitton purse. So we are on the right track. Uh, it was. We also got these. That's super nice. This is a really cool, and then it says. Taste of Tander. I just like it because it has like the little buttons. So these will be for sale. 
this i don't really know maybe i should do research before we even post it whatever but it's like a short the fit of it is really interesting it kind of like droops down it's kind of like how you sh cut your shirts anyway kind of how i cut my crop tops but longer really really cool but this isn't like a standard shirt it's really weird right now. Uh, like michael stars, stars. one Where size fits made? all made in the usa though which is so. a good sign really really cool but it was twenty dollars for the fake so the value of fake designer is actually high because for me buying a real purse a real Louis Vuitton purse for like fifty dollars is a lot I know that's but to buy a fake one <laughs> with the owner of the store telling you that it's fake. I don't think fake. you could buy it, Louis, for fucking 50 but If you found it somewhere, though. Like, on the low low. On the no-no. Like, in a storage unit or something, you get it pretty much for free. But I'm just saying, like, for the store owner to know that it's fake, tell you it's fake, and still charge $20? Think about that. That's crazy. So, uh, the counterfeit life is insane. All right, we are at stop number three on the adventure, the Goodwill store. So it's so weird looking actually on camera when I'm looking through it like this. Look, it looks amazing. So we're looking <laughs> still deep. We found one counterfeit Louis, and that's it so far. Just one. But we did get some gear, and we still have the biggest of the three to look in, and usually the best, the Goodwill and let's do this let's see what we can find in here these shoes though this is so politically incorrect Slash so amazing because it's probably like one of like ten ever made. Obama Mao dictator shirt. Wow. Obama the dictator. Yeah, tell me about this shirt right now. Things. You're the best finder. Red, white, and blue. Like thing one and thing two colors that. Like not. Do we need a um, cart now? I guess, dude, because these are all stuff that'll sell really. So we're looking at just gold right now. Marilyn Monroe claim. Such gold. Six bucks, that dude. Is it worth it, still? No. Blacks, definitely not. The Emperor Obama, which is definitely worth it because it's like a one of a kind ever. This one, just for the patch at least. Just for this piece, worth two bucks. And then the Bay shirt, it's small, but it is sick. And it's faded and worn, so. Makes it even cooler. I like it too. What else we got? I don't know what green this is, but maybe this is a made in the United States. That's what makes it cross green. Lee. This is a nice sweatshirt. How much is this though? Five bucks. Worth it. The next, pond. Next level. I don't really know what this is. That's but a it looks cool, cool shirt, though. This is Mark Jacobs Stinky Rat. I don't know. The only reason I noticed it was because it had a rat on it, which is kind of cool. Three, but two bucks. And then I got this. Florida Gators. Warm. It has a little stain on the back, but people like that. This like look. This like. It's not like stiff, like a new shirt. You know what I mean? Not bad. Old varsity okay, brand. 
it's uh, it's old, boys. I'm working on it. It's stuffy in here. You didn't camp it. Alright, we bought everything that we just showed, plus the last most dreamlike thing, these free glasses that came with the purchase of a pack of cool cigarettes back in the day. Wonder when this even... They had a bunch of those in there too. In the pack? Uh -huh. Where? Oh, because they were like in a whole like thing originally. Look, because it's cut. Oh. So cool. All right, we are back home at the house. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed going thrifting with us. We did not find what we were looking for, but that doesn't mean we're going to give up. So stay tuned. We have some work to do tomorrow, but maybe Sunday we will be back on it. So maybe in two videos, depending, we will be back on the hunt. So also I have all this art here for sale. If anyone's interested in it, it was sitting in Pennsylvania and I want to sell it. So American flag, skate deck, surveillance state that Obama one and then this one's about cell phones and how they affect young minds so message us please what's the claim it's freezing just a little you got your bag of goodwill goods got your bag of goodwill goods or oh, MJ in his little nest because sissy up in the top thing. Right, sis? Sister? She's in her window. Good babies. That's really cute, though. Okay, so this is my birthday present from our friend Seth Seagal. And I'm really excited to open it, so. MJ is going to open it with me because he is a master present opener. <coughs> so I'm choking box. on popcorn. I open card. First. Sammy J. Ooh, this is a pretty card. He crossed out Barbie. That's funny. Amazing women never go out of style. Dear Sammy J, in no way did I order you this shirt to imply that you have a ginormous butt. In fact, I didn't look at this shirt yet. In fact, it's just perfect. And Turner is so very blessed to have it as his playground. MJ agrees. He knows. I just thought you would think the shirt was funny. Wear it in good humor, Seth. I like this Barbie card. All right, let's see this shirt though. Let me see this, because I, I don't know what it says. Do you know what it no, says? No, I have no idea. <laughs> I need a coffee the size of my butt. <laughs> 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 Wait, I totally wear, will wear this in good Dude, humor. you have to wear this. This is a comfy shirt. This is so epic, are you kidding? It's good because it's in like a font that's kind of like nonchalant, like people's eyes get lazy. So like if I'm wearing this inside of a store, they'd like look at it and then they're like, subconsciously they're like, yeah, that font's a little bit too hard to read. So they just don't read it at all. Do you, know, they just do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that all the time. I do it too. I'm I like, literally never. that font's crazy. So I no. never read anyone's shirts. Unless like I'm just standing there in line or something. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Seth. <laughs> Wait. And Christmas ornament or just home decor that says believe. And then these. I really like these. Can't clip it. Thank you. All right, we got a little dreamer package from Uncle Chippy. Pop. 
Don't know what it is. Wasn't expecting this one. What is this stoke dude right now? Look at that Kiki. Oh, what the flower? No way, now. dude. What? No way. Just a quick uplift card and a gift to Sasquatch. Give me, give me that boy. Get out of here. Sorry, Mine. I thought of you. Keep doing what you're doing, yours. Steven Chip Hudock, the boy. Sending a few warm fuzzies your way. So this is for my dad. Damn, your dad's gonna be souped about that. Is that a can opener? MJ, give me this. What's wrong with you? It's a can opener, a knife, a roller. Oh, it's a bottle opener, a cord cutter, a ruler, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead, butterfly Damn. wrench, can opener, hex wrench, and a carabiner. That thing is literally so cool. It's amazing. Thank you, dude. It's awesome. He's I can't wait to give it to my dad tomorrow. Hopefully I see him. For the dream.